hi guys if you've clicked on this video then it means either you want to start your own youtube channel or you already have a youtube channel but you're new at it and you want to know like how to start or how to grow a successful youtube channel which is basically what i've titled the video <laughs> so i want to share with you guys some advice and tips that i think have helped me grow up to where i am now i'm at a point where youtube is my career this is my career <laughs> so i want to share with you guys just tips on how you can grow your own channel or if you're contemplating starting a channel where you know you can get started what to expect all of that so some time ago i had actually told you guys that i wanted to do a youtube 101 series where i share with you guys like tips on how to grow on youtube the tech stuff the business part all of that which i plan to do but to kick that series off i am going to be starting with just this video where i'm giving you guys just five literally just five otherwise we'll be here till god knows when five pieces of advice or tips that have helped me personally grow on youtube i've been here on this youtube space for exactly one year two months and in that time the question that i get a lot how did you grow um what did you do to grow like come on like joanna girl tell us <laughs> So I want to kick this series off with just what I think, no, what I know has helped me get to where I am and what I think if you apply it will push you in the right direction and will push you to, to really grow your channel. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a feeling this video is going to be a bit long because I'm going to talk, talk, talk. So if you want to grab a cup of coffee, cocoa, popcorn, glass of wine, go and get it now. <laughs> And then we start so the first thing and the thing that i attribute my growth to 100 percent is consistency i know you guys have heard this being said before many times but there's a reason why you hear it a lot it's because it's true and i think consistency applies to all areas of your life not just starting a channel or growing a channel all areas of your life but for the purposes of this video I am just gonna talk about it in terms of YouTube so when I started my channel last year I used to post once a week and I used to post on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. and I vowed to myself come rain come shine that video will be up at 2 p.m. and I maybe apart from just one time because I did this for about three months before increasing to two videos but for those three months I think I only didn't upload once and I think the one time I didn't upload on Wednesday, it's that I uploaded on Thursday. So I was really, really, really consistent. If you want to start a channel, be committed to being consistent. If you have a channel and you want to grow it, be committed to being consistent. Growth at the beginning is slow. I don't think there's anyone who joins. Okay, there's some people, yeah, but it's not the typical thing for you to just join YouTube and then get, oh my God, okay, subscribers today, tomorrow, the day after that. That's not going to happen. So there are times when you're going to feel really discouraged. You know, I, I only have five subscribers in month one, month two, I have 20. You feel like you're not growing despite all that remain consistent so if you want to start a channel or if you have a new channel none of that i'm too busy i have exams work has been too much i've not had time to you know post a video or film a video those are excuses guys those are excuses there are people who upload more videos with less time or they're more busy than you so you can do it too if you know you have exams in three weeks you know you have exams so instead of filming one video today why not film two to cater for the time when you'll be having exams basically plan yourself plan ahead and just know that whatever happens on the day you pick you have to upload of course you have to set a realistic schedule don't say you're gonna post three times a week and you know full well that you can only manage once once a week or once in two weeks so you have to set a realistic schedule and and be honest with yourself how much can i do okay if it's once a week then choose that once a week and stick to it now the thing is um you will grow with time because i don't know consistency just always 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 pays off but youtube also ranks you higher 
when you post more often or when you post consistently so people will be able to discover you because your videos will be being suggested thanks to your consistency the second thing that i think is also really really important is to be yourself just be who you are just be you i hear many people saying oh youtube the youtube world is so saturated you know everyone is a youtuber and i feel like that is nonsense <laughs> it's just nonsense like there's no limit as to how many people one person can be subscribed to if you guys go through my subscription my subs hey my sub my subscription box right now i am subscribed to a number of people so please the don't listen to people who say youtube is too saturated you know find something else everyone is doing youtube nye, 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 nye. don't listen to those people if you want to start your channel you start your channel even before I started, I had people saying, oh, the makeup tutorials are so overdone. Oh, you know, the beauty thing has been so overdone. But I was like, you know what? That's what I want to do and that's what I'm going to do. The thing is, people have different tastes. People want, people have different interests. So someone might like my personality and my makeup tutorial and two, two people may not so we definitely need more people coming into the youtube space so that everyone can have someone to relate to i don't know if i'm making sense <laughs> but it doesn't matter if youtube has been overdone which i think it hasn't i think there's still room for so many more people so so many more people especially here in kenya there's room but don't listen to those people who say oh youtube has been done oftentimes actually those people who are saying those things are just trying to discourage you because you want to do something that they can't do or that they're scared to do. So don't listen. So when I say be yourself, I mean don't force to follow trends. Don't force at it because people like how a certain YouTuber is. You also want to come on and be like them. Don't, don't you guys. One of the comments I get and I love is that, Jonah, you're so real. You're so relatable. And I'm like, that's, that's just me i'm honestly i'm just being me i'm honestly just being myself if other another vlogger is you know driving or taking an uber and i take a mat i take pride in that and that's that's what i'll vlog because that's me that's that's my life and that's my story that's the story that i want to share so don't force to follow trends just share your story youtube is a creative space it's a space where people can come creators can come and create content in their own unique and creative way which is why i hate 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 <laughs> these comments of people saying oh you know your vlogs are too long oh you should do it this way oh you can't be hiking in one scene of your vlog and then in the next vlog you're doing makeup and then in the next one you're cooking oh do it this way oh do it that way i really 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 despise that comment because i'm like why why are you telling me how to to do something as in this is this is a creative expression if i want to do a 40 minute vlog i will and there are people who are going to come and watch that 40 minute vlog the thing with youtube is that it's big like there's so many creators on here if you don't like the 40 minute vlog or the one hour vlog then you can go and find someone doing the 10 minute vlog that you want but please don't try and dictate how someone is supposed to vlog this is it's not don't put people in a box like that this is a creative space where people can come your channel is like your own personal creative space where you can do things how you want to do so don't listen to those people you just do you do your thing how you want it to be how you feel like you're being you Okay, and then also on this same point of being yourself, let me tell you guys something. Every single idea has been done. I'm telling you, if you sit down and come up with like an idea that you think, wow, this is the most unique idea, and you go and put it into a Google search, it will come up. <laughs> and not just one, like 10 of them will come up. So don't say that you're waiting until you get a unique idea for you to start your channel. Run with what you're already thinking now run with it the only way to be unique on youtube is to just be yourself there are 
how many people in the world? Seven billion people. And each of those people is unique. Each of them is unique. So just come on here and be yourself. Share your own story, your own unique perspective. And that in itself is unique. That in itself makes your channel different from any other channel on this YouTube space. Okay, the third one is something that I struggled with for a really long time when I started YouTube, which is comparing myself to other people. I will tell you, if you want to start a channel or if you have a growing channel, do not, do not compare yourself to the next um, YouTuber. Just don't do it. Sometimes it's inevitable, it's gonna happen and you learn from it, but I'm saving you that learning experience by telling you don't compare yourself to the next person your journey is your journey for a reason you might start uh, youtube with someone at the exact same time and in a month maybe they have 500 subscribers and you have 30 subscribers please don't compare yourself just be happy for them after all they represent where you could be but don't feel like you know you're you're worthless maybe youtube is not where you're supposed to be don't feel that way celebrate their growth it's for them it's their journey for their own reason your journey is where you are right now and you need to enjoy it take pride in it and not compare yourself to other people and then also on that note of numbers, don't be obsessed with the numbers. Like when you start YouTube or when you're trying to grow your channel, the num and actually there are many, many people who are really obsessed with the numbers, no matter how much they grow. My advice to you is just forget the numbers. Don't be so obsessed with the numbers. And let me tell you guys something. Numbers only tell a fraction of the story, a very small fraction of the story. You could literally have two people. One person, let's say, has 50K subscribers and is getting like 100K views on each video. And then you have someone else who has, let's say, 5K subscribers and is getting an average of 3,000 views on their videos. Of course, this person with the 50K looks big. They look wow. But you might actually find that this person with the 5K subscribers and the 3K views, average views, has more influence than this person with the many subscribers and the many views because maybe all these views are just passive. You know, people come to the video, they watch it, they leave. It adds no value to their life whatsoever. And if they're told to buy something, it's just it just passes them. But this other person with the 5K subscribers, and the 3k views is maybe really engaged with their audience you know and people come and watch their videos and they feel wow they they feel inspired to take action so if if they're told okay this product is amazing i think you guys should try it they actually try it so i'm telling you guys numbers are just that they're just numbers they don't they they don't they just i don't know they just show how many eyeballs are watching your content. They don't show how they're engaging with your content. They don't show what kind of impact you're having on them. So the point here is don't be obsessed with the numbers. I used to be so obsessed with the numbers when I first started. And for a while I was, I would just constantly check, okay, uh -huh, I had uh, 200 subscribers today. Tomorrow I have... 202 the next day ahead 204 you know you get it it's that numbers game don't play it the advice i would actually give you and something that i am practicing and really trying to live right now is focus on value and forget the numbers and this this is really something i'm trying i've been doing and i've been really pushing myself to do better if i get just 20 views on my video when those 20 people leave my video are they different from when they came? You know, are they engaging with my content? Have I challenged them? Have I empowered them? Have I encouraged them? What value are they getting from my video? Because I would rather 20 people watch my video and 20 people leave my video knowing how to do something that they didn't know how to do before rather than have 20,000 people watching my video and none of them are really engaging with my content none of them are inspired by my content and they just live the way they came i would rather get those few views so if you're starting your channel or if you want to grow your channel 
I would really advocate for you to forget about the numbers and just focus on what those few people coming to your video are getting out of your video and let me tell you guys something that will spread okay if i if i watch a video that really moves me i share it i share it with my friends i share it with my family and that's how you're going to grow you put in the work make sure people are getting inspired getting value out of your video and you will grow because people will share your content i mean who doesn't want to share content that they feel some type of way about honestly people will share okay the fourth one i know i've already talked so much but i warned you guys that this would be a long video the fourth one is to know your why what is your reason for coming onto youtube why are you doing it like why that why is what is going to get you through the tough times on this platform the times where you feel so lazy to Put up a video to film a video the times when you feel so discouraged you know you've put in so much effort and two people have watched your video that why has to be really really strong um you can come on here for money money can be one of the reasons but i don't think it should be the main reason because it's not going to see you through those those tough times you need to have a stronger why and the different ways like people come on here just to to share their journey and hopefully inspire like-minded people like um there's a channel that i watched of some there's a video no there's a channel that i saw of some girl who she was in a depression and she decided she's going to start her channel and kind of like vlog and document her depression story and she ended up um, attracting attention from other people who've gone through depression or are going through depression and that's a strong why because on days when you know she was feeling like really depressed and feeling like ah, i can't do this you know she remembers eh, there's one that one person or 20 people who are out there who are counting on me to put up this video because it's going to encourage them some people also a, a good why is also to build a community for business every time you feel lazy like ah, remember the business you're like these are customers that i'm getting for my future business and then you'll get up and do that video it can also be entertainment comedy you guys know that laughing can just make someone i don't know feel good forget their problems <laughs> and just feel like life isn't as heavy as it sometimes feels so every time you feel like i maybe not you'll remember okay maybe there's someone having a bad day and my video could be the one thing that turns it around so you need to know your why let me share with you guys my why okay one of my why's so i've been wearing makeup for some time and every time i wear makeup or even just image every time i look good you know i have like perfume that smells nice my makeup is on fleek my hair looks good my outfit is on point my shoes are whew, i feel good like i walk tall you know i walk like i have just this boost of confidence you know I know you guys um, relate to what I'm saying because it's true like image can really boost your confidence I'm not saying that it's all that you should rely on to boost your confidence but it's true it does boost your confidence so I wanted to start my channel to teach people you guys how to apply makeup because I know that when you finally learn how to do those eyebrows or put on that foundation your confidence is instantly going to be boosted so that's one of the reasons why I came on here. So um, the other reason why I wanted to come on here is to be someone who the normal woman can relate to because there were channels before mine, obviously, and they were all using expensive makeup from I don't know where. And I used to watch them and I'm like, girl, I can get that exact same look, but with products that cost a fraction of that amount, which is what I can afford right now. But I knew that there were other people out there who would watch that same tutorial and think, okay, it's nice to watch, but I can never do this because I can't even afford those products. So I wanted to come on here and show you guys the skill because I strongly, strongly believe that the skill is everything. If you have the skill, it doesn't matter what products you use. It doesn't matter if they're expensive and they're from I don't know where or if they are affordable it doesn't matter because if you have the skill girl you're good to go so those are some of my whys so every time i feel lazy i just think about that one person or those 
100 people who through that video that I'm being lazy to do could be inspired and whose confidence could be boosted just a little bit. So yeah, know your why. Now, once you know your why, you have to really, really believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can change that person's life, that you can inspire that person, that you can be the reason why someone's confidence is boosted, that you can be the reason why someone started off with a bad day and now they have, they're, they're enjoying their day. You have to believe that. And for yourself, don't place that belief in anyone else because they can't see your vision the way you can. And also believe that when you start or when you put in the effort into your channel, it's going to grow. You're going to blow up. You're going to be big. Because why can't you? Why can't you? Give me reasons why. I'm waiting. <laughs> why? You can. You can be so successful um, on this platform if you just believe in yourself. Um, sometimes I meet people who are like, oh, okay, YouTube, you know, YouTube in Kenya doesn't really grow and I'm like, okay, that's fine, that's your view. But me, I think that, you know, I'm going to grow. I'm going to get the 100K um, plaque. I'm going to get the million plaque. And I just, I believe that for myself. And there's no reason why you guys shouldn't believe it either. Because we can all be successful on this platform. Okay, the fifth one, and I've told you guys this one before and other people have said it before, is just to start now. Start now where you are with what you have and then from there you'll grow and you'll improve and you'll get better, but just start. If you don't have a camera, use your smartphone. If you don't have a smartphone, you must be having a family member or a friend who has a smartphone that you can borrow. Use that. Don't give excuses as to why you can't start the current book i'm reading the magic of thinking big which is on my mom's book club have you guys joined my mom's book <laughs> book club i'll put the link down below so you guys can join but this book is really really nice and it says <clears throat> one of the differences between successful people and unsuccessful people is excuses successful people do not give excuses they choose to do something and they won't allow themselves to give excuses for it oh i don't have a camera oh but then i'm busy oh let me wait until i finish school oh my work is demanding too much of me those are the unsuccessful people and i know all of you guys are successful <laughs> so if you want to start just start with what you have and then you will grow from there ask yourself this like what's the worst that could happen if you started your channel right now after watching this video what's the worst that could happen zero subscribers did you die though did you die <laughs> did you no and guess what the only way to go from zero subscribers is up you can't go to negative one you can only go up so just start if you've been saying you want to start your channel finish this video which is almost done open your channel open your youtube account purpose to make that video tomorrow or whenever soon and then just just go for it the only way is up you have nothing whatsoever to lose nothing so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it's going to help you guys somewhere out there and i hope you guys are going to send me your channels that you've started or that you're keen on growing so that you know i can also go and watch them and subscribe to you guys and cheer you on yeah <laughs> i've talked for so long i, I feel like i even need water <laughs> please comment down below with any additional tips that you might have um because many of these things don't just apply to youtube they apply to a blog they apply to even a business so comment down below if you want to add any if there's anything you want to add i'm sure the people who want to start channels or grow their channels will be interested to hear and now i need to go get a glass of water because <clears throat> that was a long talk <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video bye